My name is Wayne Boucher and I'm the owner of the Broken Rack. Uh, I started playing pool in she my uh, third year of high school in 1959. I started playing at Kipps, which was the only pool room around at that particular time up on Durant, right across from the Cal campus. Uh, the person that introduced me to pool was a man named Ed Parker, who, when I went in to play pool the first time, he was the house pro there, and I started playing him and losing my paycheck every week for the first six months, but pretty soon I was beating everybody in there. I've been in the, like, the pool, pool bar and restaurant, restaurant business pretty much all my life, and I always wanted to end up with a pool room of some kind, and ten years ago I got the opportunity and went for it. And luckily for me so far, it's working out pretty good for a retirement job. <laughs> well, we wanted to find some place in Emeryville. There was a place that uh, was just kind of going out of business that we tried to buy. Uh, and that didn't work out, so we just went around looking at spots. When we first came into this one, we looked at all the pillars and posts and figured there was no way to put a pool room in it because of the, they would get in the way, but it worked out. They just fit in just about perfectly. So that was a lucky break, and we had Kimball's East upstairs, and Kimball was down here, and they raised his rent too much, and so he just moved back upstairs. He was upstairs and downstairs, and he helped us find all the stuff around here, and he... Good man, Kimball Allen. He was the owner of Kimball's East, which is, was upstairs, and Kimball's Carnival, which was down here. The Carnival was a salsa club, and upstairs uh, was a jazz club. He had all the best, best player, best people, always. Very difficult. Um, so many licenses and permits, and just. I mean, we came in here and we worked like. Three of us that started the business worked like 12 hours a day for like six months straight to try to get it up and running. Uh, crews come in, tear stuff down, put stuff up. It's the toughest part of a pool room is you need so many square feet and you pay rent by square feet and uh, it's tough. I don't think a pool hall could survive unless it had a bar and food. I really enjoy Helping people learn to play the game and just helping them get better if they really want to put the time in. But it's just like everything, it takes a lot of time. Uh, you got to work hard at it, and but but it's it's a very enjoyable thing. It's a, it's a good way to let off a little steam. I mean, this type of business, you have servers and bartenders. Uh, that is the kind of job that's high, high turnover. Uh, it's not easy to have them all get along with each other because they're working mainly for tips. To end this industry, uh, I mean, most of the people in it are, you know, just part time going to college or something and working a couple nights, and it, it's 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 tough. Um, we have 20 tables. We have 16 four and a half by nines regulation size table. Two four by eights, a six by twelve snucker table, and a five by ten carom billiard table, and they're all old housing. And the reason we bought all old housing tables is the women's um, pool league back then offered to have a tournament in our room if we got old housing tables who was one of their backers so right when we first opened one of the first things that happened we had the women's pro tour come in here with uh, all the top women players in the world which basically is what put us on the map